Another point I want to make about the wide drill is it teaches a dog that, hey, there's a gunner out there and they shot a bird. Many dogs think, oh, there's a gunner and he shot a bird. What I would like to teach is where did they shoot it? Exactly where, you know, it's not like, oh, run out there and find it. It's go out to where it fell. Uh, I think it's a big discussion and I'm probably gonna bring it up again, but one of the ways you can tell if a dog, and this is what in field trials I know we need to have a lot more education on. One of the ways you can tell if a dog marks a bird is if he went there. In other words, if I shoot a bird and it lands in some corn and the dog hunts on the grass in front of the corn, he did not mark the bird. He's going to find the bird, he's going to hunt the bird, but he didn't mark the bird. Marking means you know where it fell and there's an area of the mark. The dog should go to that area. If you shoot a bird and it lands on an island and the dog is running up and down the bank in front of where the guns threw from, he did not mark the bird. If you stay out long enough, he will find the bird, but he hasn't marked the bird. So the Y drill says there's a gunner out there and there's m multiple birds somewhere around him, but where? Sometimes people say, oh, let him hunt, he'll find the dog, and my reaction, or he'll find the bird, and my reaction is, yeah, he'll find it, but when? How much time do we have? How hot is it? Whatever. A mark is when a dog goes to the area of the fall and hunts there, not go somewhere else and hunt, and go somewhere else and hunt, and, oh, finally he stumbles over here, and oh, here's the bird. So. I want to teach a dog that there's a specific area where that bird fell and that's one of the big values of the wide drill. And I'm going to elaborate on this, that whole topic later, but to me that's the most valuable aspect of the wide drill. You have a gunner and multiple throws. One more point about the wide drill, the configuration is angle back angle in flat. It resembles the letter Y. But that's only a beginning point. You could throw in an advanced version just so you have this idea. Five birds all on the same side of the gun and when you have a really good marker that can pick out these spots where a, dog, a bird falls, you can throw an angle in, a flat, an angle back, a severe angle back, all on the same side of the gunner and a really fine marker is going to pick all of those birds out. You can throw a progression, a short, a longer, a longer, a longer, a longer, and a dog that can really mark will pick out all of those spots. That's what, that's what I want to try to do and it's certainly possible if you practice.